There's no reason uh, we should not and should continue to look like America. Soldiers that may be a private or private first class or a specialist deserve to look up and see somebody that may look like him or her. And now as young leaders start seeing people, uh, minorities in first sergeant positions, sergeant major positions, company commander positions, all these positions, now is something they can look forward to and say, man, that inspires me, I can, I can do that having the courage to stand up and be who you are, having the courage or the backbone to go against the tide when the tide is going the wrong way. When people said to me, there's never been a woman in that position ever in the Army, I'm like, and your point is what? I love additional reasons to work harder. Please give me a reason. So today I challenge you to fight to work, to not stop here, to believe so heavily in your aspirations that you too will not fear the word no, but instead you will choose to welcome it. Because you don't look like me, I have no obligation to train or take care of you. I was literally told that as a young soldier. I'm honored to be speaking here as a maneuver center of excellence in Fort Benning Command, Sergeant Major, to recognize and remember the efforts and sacrifices. The Black History Month means so much more. That's what this day, and this month is all about. The greatest assets of the United States Army are not our tanks or our helicopters or our sophisticated weapon systems. They are our people. Soldiers aren't in the Army. Soldiers are the Army. The Army allowed me to climb on the shoulders of the Buffalo Soldiers and other African Americans who had blazed the trail for 300 years of American history. And I hope the day will come soon when all parts of our society do for young minorities what the Army and the other armed services have been doing for young men and women of all color over the years.